And welcome to the ABC4 News at 10 o'clock. I'm Emily Flores. And I'm Nick McGurk. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. Well, 21 felony counts of sexual exploitation of a minor. These are the latest charges a Utah man now faces. And this is not the first time he's faced serious charges involving children. ABC4's Courtney Johns joining us live in studio now with the latest on this case and why this time the charges might stick. Jonathan Soberanis has been in and out of the court system several times, and in every instance, a judge has ruled he was not competent to stand trial. But now that the attorney general's office is involved, they're requesting he be held with no bail. The only thing more upsetting than seeing a video of a man peering into Stephanie Davis's window. Uh, I can't read anymore. Is reading the new charges Jonathan Soberanis faces. Someone who gets off on watching this kind of stuff doesn't deserve to be out in public. 21 felony counts of sexual exploitation of a minor. Authorities say Soberanis had images and videos of adults raping children as young as three. He should be locked up and never be allowed to see the light of day. Ever. Stephanie learned about Soberanis earlier this year when police say he was caught peering into bedroom windows. She says her son is still processing what happened. He has fears that seven-year-olds shouldn't have. According to court documents, in 2015, Soberanis was accused of masturbating in public. In 2018, police say he crawled under a dressing room stall to watch an eight-year-old boy undress. In 2021, he was accused of touching a naked five-year-old at a public rec center. Police saying he then urinated on the child. In all of these cases, a judge ruled he was not competent to stand trial. But in the latest case, investigators with the attorney general's office paint Jonathan as a capable man who had knowledge to create multiple online accounts, including using a cloud service provider to store and distribute child pornography. He knows what to say. He knows how to manipulate it. In addition to the latest charges, the AG's office also states Soberanis works at a mall and is being investigated for another offense where he's accused of having sexual contact with a child in the mall restroom. Those children deserve to know that the man that wanted to hurt them or the man that did hurt them is going to be held accountable. Court documents also state that when police served a warrant at Soberanis' home, multiple children were visiting. Back to you.